Welcome back. This is uh, video five of my SketchUp tutorial for RC. And in our last video, we went ahead and drew up the side view, uh, the fuselage, and the rudder. And so now we're going to jump to the top view, in which we are going to work on uh, drawing half of the fuselage and half of the wing at a time. And talk about duplicating, replicating, copying parts over, uh, and uh, turning them to components that we can actually edit. So. Let's jump into uh, drawing the top view. Alright, and so uh, let's go ahead and get started. So we're pretty much done with the side view for now. So now we need to work on our top view. This will be a little more complex. So what I generally will do when I'm designing these is I'm going to break them up into additional components. So I'm going to start by drawing the wing and then we'll add in the other fuselage pieces as well. Now we could just go ahead and draw the whole thing out as one shape and then cut it up from there or we can draw pieces. Since I know I'm going to end up with pieces I'm going to go ahead and start that way. So let's just go ahead and start drawing the wing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually start out at the wingtip, get that as close as to my ref reference point as possible and I'm going to bring this all the way in to our guideline here because remember we're going to be creating half of the wing and then making a mirror image. So I'm going to go ahead there and then I'm going to escape out of that line. I'm going to come out to the trailing edge and one useful thing to do is you can you can snap and get a guide from you see how it's kind of a faint green line. If I hold shift it'll actually bring it straight back. So this will ensure that we have a straight outside edge to our wing and we'll just get it to wherever we feel is best and click there. So now we've got we've got our uh, outside edge and then I'm going to click and bring this back all the way following this line, our trailing edge, but extending it all the way into our middle our midsection line here. So once you feel you have that lined up, click to close that line and then bring it up to the top. And now we have just a basic wing panel to start with. And again, I'm going to make this a component. So we'll call this wing half. So now we have our wing half to work with. And here's what I want to show you about, about easy ways to duplicate. There's a few different ways to do it, but here's what I find to be the simplest. We're going to use our move command and we're going to do a move and copy. So we hit M or select our move tool. Now we're into our move. Remember if we hold control, or click control, it's going to bring up our plus. That's going to make a copy. So I'm going to bring it, just slide it over this way. So now we have two of the same halves, but we want to we want a right and a left. So now we're going to move into our scale tool. If you hold control, it's going to rotate about the center point and grab on the red axis here. Just want to there we go. Just to make sure I'm holding control. We want to slide it back to where in the lower right you see our scale is negative one as opposed to positive one. We want 100% scale, just the opposite. Click and hold there. So now we have two wing halves to work with. And if we want, we can move the one and snap to the other. Okay, we've got our two wing halves here and we want to start working with them to add the additional details. Um, so now that it has a texture on it, it's hard to see what's behind it or see our drawing behind it. So one thing we can do is we can select our component we go to view, we look at face style, we can actually change this to x-ray. And so that will actually let us see through our uh, our texture, but it'll still be able to see that it is a face and not just an outline. So that's the first part. Now secondly, what we want to do is actually edit the component. We won't, don't want to draw things outside of it because they won't actually interact with the component at this time. So we can either right click, go to edit component, or you can just simply double click and that'll put it, you into edit mode. Now the nice thing about working with components here is anything I do over on this right side should get replicated over on the left side because this is just a copy of that component. So it's going to maintain those those uh, copies as we go along. So we want to keep in mind our fuselage edges here. So we don't want to go in further than that with our aileron. So I like to start, start in there wherever that's going to be. So let's go ahead and just trace in alongside of that fuselage side. You see it's duplicating as I go to the other side. So I just want to go ahead and trace over this aileron making things connect and there we see 
we've traced in our aileron. Once we're done, you can actually just click outside the component, and that'll move us outside the edit component mode. And now you see we have the same size aileron on both sides. Now we're probably going to want to tweak this size, just that's from experience, knowing that we'll probably want a larger aileron on this wing. But this gives you the idea of drawing it in and using components to replicate on both sides. So now let's go ahead and, and continue drawing in the rest of this fuselage. We're going to just do the same style as we did before. Um, I'm going to go ahead and build off this wing and up to this nose. So let's go ahead and put our mid line in here. We want to go right on that line. That's going to be our reference line. I'm going to bring it over, bring it straight over there. We're up to our curve, so I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to go ahead and make this a straight line up to here. And now, again, we're just testing the tools as we go. If we're happy as that that is being as close as we want, we can go ahead and close that. And uh, there we've got our rough nose shape. Oops, and I forgot to close it here on the bottom. There, now we have our rough nose shape. So we want to take this same as the same. We can replicate it over to the other side if we want. However, I don't no need to make any changes to this. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do a move, control to copy. I'm going to slide this over here temporarily. Now we're going to do a scale, holding the control just to flip it, negative one. All right, now I'm going to do a move again. I'm going to snap it over to this endpoint. Then, if I just take our middle line and remove it, now it is one single piece. Let's make sure we're in top view here. Now we've got the front of the airplane done as one piece. So now we can come back here and start drawing the back end of our airplane. So again, I'm going to start with my endpoint and set that mark. So we'll draw a line from there down to about where the hinge line of our horizontal stabilizer will be. And then I'm going to come out and again you're using the picture as a guide you can adjust the design to your liking as well so don't worry about being exact on all these lines and since I made my aileron point the inside of the fuselage, I can snap right to that point, and then we'll bring this back. All right now we've got another another half, so we're going to select that again. And I'm going to do a move and copy, bring it over here, and then a scale, holding control. I'm going to flip that over to negative one, go back into our move, bring it over there, and then remove our center line. All right now we've got the uh, the rear fuselage and the horizontal stabilizer. We'll finish this out by drawing out one half of our elevator. So I like to come off of a point. We want to keep that parallel edge. We want to keep that same edge. And bring this out here. Bring it straight down. Following our lines, and then we want to we want to bring this in. Now on the image, you can kind of tell that it's it's probably coming up here, but we need to leave a, a center joiner for these two. So I'm only going to bring it up part way and then over to complete it. And then again, we're going to take this, move, copy, slide it over here, scale, rotate about point, negative 100. Move again, snap it into place on our, and then take out our center line to make it one piece. All right, now since I've done this without making these other parts, com this part a component, I want to make sure I go ahead and do that while I still can. So we're going to make this a component. We'll make that elevator. That way they're not they're not tied together. So otherwise you get around to trying to move them later, and they're actually snapped to these pieces, and you're going to stretch all those other parts with it. So go ahead and make these into components so you can work with them individually as needed. All right. And those are our major components for a flat plate foamy. So 
I'm going to go ahead and end this video now and then we'll jump into our next video with tweaking the sizes and starting to get them fit together as a, as a full airplane in 3D. So hope you enjoyed this. Hope you've learned something. Um, check out my other videos and stay tuned for part four where we're going to move into our 3D modeling with these objects. As always, I appreciate your, uh, your thumbs up and your comments and a subscription is always appreciated and and uh, let you know when my future videos are out there.